As 2019 draws to a close, growth in the U.S. is be positive for the 10th year in a row, which is the longest continuous period of expansion recorded since the mid-19th century. Economist estimates that recession is unlikely in 2020 in the U.S. However, the chief investment officer wishes to challenge this perspective and has tasked us with developing a quantitative model to compare our results with their views. Over the period going from 2009 to 2019, the unusual length of the cycle has regularly instilled fear of an imminent recession among many doomsayers. Their rationale is based on a simple premise. The longer the period of expansion continues, the higher the risk of it ending. This logic is flawed, however, as Janet Yellen highlighted a few years ago when she stated that expansions do not die of old age. During the year 2019, however, fears of a recession in the US have been fueled not only by the risk of the cycle running out of steam, but also exacerbated by trade tensions, coupled with a slowdown in economic activity in China and the rest of the world amid heightened geopolitical uncertainties. These persistent threats combined with fresh risks arising and the exceptionally long cycle were highly likely to revive fears of a recession during 2020. Although traditional macroeconomic analysis pinpointed sources of instability, including widening imbalances and asset price bubbles, and also highlighted potential shocks which could tip economies into recession, such as a trade war or restrictive monetary policies, it nonetheless provided no objective gauge of the risk of recession. To remedy this situation, we have developed several machine learning models. Traditionally, econometricians use probit-type models in order to predict recessions. Probit models, which are derived from linear regression models, are used to assess binary variables. These types of model are used to estimate the probability of one of two different events occurring. In this case, the probability of whether a recession will occur over a given time frame or not. These models have nonetheless been proven to harbor a major default as models with equivalent statistical properties over past periods can provide recession probability forecasts which differ greatly. The choice of predictive variables plays a key role and also strongly biases forecasts. Estimations from three probit models based primarily on yield curve steepness illustrate this inherent default. Whereas in the past, the yield curve slope, real short-term rates and monetary policy tightness also proved to be reliable indicators of an imminent recession in the US, signals over the past few years have diverged. Given the difficulty in selecting the correct model, choosing one of these predictor variables, which all adopt similar trends, there is a danger of making an erroneous assessment of the risk of a recession. In order to remedy this difficulty, more sophisticated and more reliable methods can be used. We've used two methods belonging to a subset of artificial intelligence models called ensemble of machine learning models. Two principles underpin the selected machine learning algorithms applying the practice makes perfect approach. In other words, there are no assumed certainties and applying these models to a broad variety of sample improves them and enhances their predictive ability. Adopting the wisdom of crowds or collective intelligence approach, a crowd's diverse, independent and aggregated opinions as opposed to the discretionary choices of one single opinion are collectively more intelligent than any of the component individual. Transposed onto our case study, the wisdom of crowds approach involves privileging aggregated information provided by a multitude of models over information from any one particular model. In other words, there is no point in seeking the best model from the past as there is no guarantee that it will remain superior in the future. 
it is therefore better to combine a widely diversified range of models in order to provide more reliable average information. The following presentation provides a brief descriptions of the two machine learning models we have used and outlines the results of the two models we have implemented. These models have been trained using a sample of around 100 leading economic and financial indicators features which may predict the onset of a recession within a time horizon of 12 months. The first machine learning model we have used is a Bayesian averaging of probit models. This method is based on the estimates provided by several hundred thousand of probit models combining up to four explanatory variables, features, of which only around 10,000 models are retained as they are deemed sensible from an economic point of view in the same way as a surgeon has to make a decision based on the interpretation of an x-ray on the eve of a delicate operation, the models are assessed, taking into account uncertainties associated with new circumstances arising. In other words, each model is assessed in probabilistic terms. In applying Bayes' rules, the combination of models provides a recession probability founded on a rationale which also includes uncertainties. The second machine learning model we've used is called Random Forest. The Random Forest method is based on a random collection of decision trees, which split the original sample of zeros and ones, no recession over the next 12 months, recession over the next 12 months, based upon the states of observed macro and financial variables, the features, into more homogenous samples of zeros and ones, higher likelihood of either no recession or a recession. Unlike probit models, decision trees are non-parametric methods which take greater interaction complexity between variables, features, into account. Their use has nonetheless traditionally been restricted due to their instability. Any slight modification in data sample leads to highly different decision trees and therefore generates very different predictions. The combination of the wisdom of crowds theme with progress in computing power and speed, particularly since the early 2000s, has led to the emergence of an algorithm which remedies this issue, namely random forests. As its name would imply, this approach draws on the aggregate values of a multitude of decision trees, an entire forest, rather than a single tree structure in order to improve prediction power. Prediction power is also improved by implementing an algorithmic learning process across sub-periods. This is the practice makes perfect aspect and reconciling predictions with observed reality outside of the learning periods. In October 2019, using macroeconomic and financial data available at that date, the two models ascribed a very low probability of a recession occurring in the US in the next 12 months. The Bayesian averaging result, blue curve, predicted less than 20% probability of a recession occurring in 2020. The result provided by random forests, orange curve, was even clearer with assigned a probability of less than 10%. The quantitative analysis that we have developed therefore substantiated the view held by the economists. In October 2019, we concluded that the US economy would be unlikely to tip into a recession in 2020. You might be curious about whether the machine learning models were capable of detecting the onset of the COVID-induced recession. And if they were, when did they do so? Upon rerunning our models at the end of December 2019, we observed the probabilities surging to 30% and increasing to 40% by the end of January 2020. Half a year prior to the official NBER announcement, the machine learning models successfully identified a recession in the US. Without the emergence of COVID-19, a recession in the US was unlikely to occur in 2020. However, by inputting timely data into the machine learning models, our CIO was able to receive an early recession signal as early as the beginning of 2020, a few months before the NBER officially declared the US to be in a recession. Thank you for listening.